Coach, uh, Dallas is coming in with a ton of injuries. Um, they certainly have some talented players, talented attacking players, but all accounts are that they'll probably sit in the mid to low block and just dare you to come and break it down. What are the challenges that, that any coach that you, you have in terms of breaking down a team that's bunkering when they come to play? Yeah, our challenge is uh, to prepare our team um, in, in, in the tactical skills and also to have this uh, right behavior, this uh, right attitude for, for Saturday. And um, it's, it's our home opener. I think this is, uh, this is for us uh, the main reason also to give everything for this, uh, for this game on Saturday against uh, Dallas. And uh, we analyze the team in, uh, in their tactical principle and not to, to think about uh, the players um, maybe who's not able to play. So for us it's very important and also to be to, to play our game, our style, how we want to play and also um, in our home stadium to create this energy, th this atmosphere all together that we have uh, the probability um, to win. Thanks for that, Anthony. Uh, Coach, it's, it's been a long road here. You came in December and now you've got the preseason, two regular season games. How, how, what are the emotions you're feeling going and finally getting to play at Red, uh, to coach at Red Bull Arena? With yeah, players? great. I have a great feeling now and I'm looking forward about that. Uh, we had yesterday with uh, with uh, the supporters a great event in our stadium uh, with the whole team, with the whole staff, with the whole coaching staff also, and uh, it was amazing yesterday. And also my feeling about that is, uh, yeah, I'm excited about uh, about the next uh, Saturday, about our home opener to get um, the feeling on the touchline the first time, and uh, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward about that. Also my family, uh, I'm very excited uh, to, to be in the Red Bull Arena, so yeah, but uh, we have to do our job first of all and uh, um, to create also these emotions uh, in the home game like we did it now in the first uh, two away games and this is also our job what we have to do with the whole team and uh, so yeah, we have tomorrow our last training session and then uh, we will start on, on Saturday our, our first experience in this, uh, in this area. Thanks for Jeff. How did Lewis Morgan come out feeling after mm. playing those 60 minutes or so uh, in the <coughs> weekend? And are you feeling like you're inching closer to perhaps maybe getting a full 90 out of him sooner rather than later, maybe? Um, I would not say now um, 90 minutes, but it could be the option for, for the starting lineup, yeah. I agree about that. Um, uh, he made... Uh, it, uh, in the last game very well um, after the substitution and especially then also um, the behavior in, in the defense and then also in, in the right moment to score and to find the, the, the top decision and also in the last pass. So um, it is an option that he can start on, uh, on Saturday, but uh, first of all, we have also to look then also for tomorrow, the training session, but could be the option. I'm not sure about that when he starts um, then uh, on Saturday that he's able to play 90 minutes, but you never know. <laughs> Coach, Dennis has only been here for a short period of time, but in the time that you have seen him, what do you, uh, what have you seen so far? Uh, Dennis King, yeah, it yeah, um, was good. Um, also directly uh, um, very open in the in the group, also in, in the locker room. So this is uh, to adapt and also our our principles first of all. And so um, he was included now in two team session, two two uh, team training sessions. So um, it could be also option that he is sitting on the bench on uh, on Saturday so um, probably not in the starting lineup so but uh, for for the bench could be could be option yeah. uh, next we'll go to Gustavo on Zoom coach good afternoon good uh, afternoon weather has been uh, wet in New Jersey for the past couple of days and will be even for Saturday uh, is it something that concerns you, having in mind you have important players like Lewis Morgan, no. Kyle Duncan, J. Mike coming back from injuries? No, 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 no. Also, yeah, we, we talked before we started our press conference, we talked here about the weather and uh, it's not similar like in Houston, <laughs> it was uh, much warmer there. But uh, no, we, we don't think about the weather now and also then uh, to have this connection and also then with uh, Lewis, no. 
Um, so we have to prepare our game and it depends uh, of, of the weather on, uh, on Saturday. Next we go to Daniel Poirensteen on Zoom. Good afternoon, Sandro. I hope you're well. Uh, just talk about Lewis Morgan. Obviously, you were happy with his performance uh, in Houston last week. Uh, are you going to try to rein in a little more from him, maybe play him 45 instead of so much? I know it was the injury to Stroud. Yeah, what I said uh, before also, um, it is uh, was a good... Good start for him now um, in uh, Houston and uh, he had very good moments in the game and uh, especially then also the in the second half his his goal so I said this uh, before that he's an option in the starting lineup uh, I'm not sure about 90 minutes so but uh, we we think about him um, for the starting lineup but tomorrow is our our last training session and then we will decide on uh, on Saturday morning how we will uh, start then uh, against Dallas. Next we go to Christian Ortiz on Zoom. Hi, good afternoon coach. Uh, we noticed that Lewis Morgan uh, started the second half on the left uh, wing. Is that something that you probably are going to continue doing uh, moving forward uh, when he gets the time to play? Uh, very good. Tactical question. Um, yeah, we have. This is also a question for for our structure for for Saturday against Dallas. So, um, I would say, um, first of all, we have to to answer the question: uh, which structure we start? Is it more four two three one or four two two two? So, um, if we have this solution with our structure, and then we can decide uh, when we when uh, when uh, Luis. Morgan will start, then then we have to decide, okay, which side or he's coming from the bench. So, But uh, this is the question then for us, for our coaching staff um, to to uh, to start with, with uh, which structure. Next we go to Gary on Zoom. Good afternoon, coach. You talked about um, looking forward uh, to the, the home opener. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you personally, how do you feel um, about the event in particular? And the follow-up question um, would be based on the, the, your, your your facing a team with a lot of injuries, as was best mentioned by Mark Fishkin. Um, you have some injuries on yourself. So how do you tell, how you prepare your team to not you know go through a, a letdown? You're starting out very well, 0-2, but you want to keep it going. You know, so now you're playing in front of the home fans. So first of all, it's also, and uh, I said this, uh, we had yesterday an, uh, a great event with all supporters and uh, now we have our home opener. Um, this is uh, special also for me then the first experience uh, to stay on the touchline in our Red Bull arena. So um, I'm looking forward about that, about uh, to have this feeling, to get this feeling also with, with all the supporters. and. Um, and this is now for us uh, then very important also that we can create also the same energy, the same atmosphere like we did in, in the first um, games. And uh, what was the second question about? Uh, it was about Gary. Gary? I don't... Gary, you're on mute. The second question was to prepare for the letdown. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The very first time. Okay. Yeah, I mentioned this also. Though we have to prepare um, the quality of, of actually of the team of, of Dallas. This is our job and to prepare and um, to find our solutions, how we want to play in our, in our structure and uh, first of all to, to decide which structure. So, but uh, not to think about uh, the players who who's not able to play. So we have to analyze and uh, to prepare very serious, very professional, very clear. So our team, so that we have the feeling, OK, now um, we are ready for this game and uh, not to think about um, who's not, cannot play in, in Dallas. So to analyze the roster, to analyze the first games, uh, first home games of Dallas, uh, first game against uh, San Jose. Um, which uh, they won in the last uh, minutes, then uh, also the second game against uh, Montreal, but Montreal was more 
that they play with uh, three center backs. So, but this is our job to analyze and then uh, that we are ready for the game, uh, for the home opener um, against uh, Dallas. Next, we have a boss. How's it going, coach? Thank you for the time. I uh, just wanted to ask, you had to play two sides that were in the CONCACAF Champions Cup, and they were missing a few pieces as well. But I want to talk about some of the players that will be featuring. Is there anyone that you've signaled out in particular with this Dallas team that you may have had a conversation with the team about? And just as a second part, what kind of conversations did you have with the team to prepare them for the big event that is uh, the home opener? Yeah, first of all, uh, the home, the whole week is uh, is uh, in our preparation uh, the, to have the video analyzed and also uh, how we want to defend our defense structure against that build-up situation, then uh, to find solutions for our offensive transition, then uh, we have the preparation for our build-up situation and then also when we lose the ball, then uh, to have uh, good positions for our counter-press. So this is um, the whole part in the week and also in the combination and with the training sessions. And, um, and then the last moment, uh, yeah, that's clear. And the last moment then on Saturday, on match day, then also to get this feeling for our whole first uh, home game. And then this is then uh, the main topic in our, in our, in our last meeting, pre-match meeting. But... Um, now, not to talk the whole week about the first home game, the first home. First of all, to have the focus on uh, on our target, on our main goal, how we want to play, and yeah, then on Saturday to create this atmosphere, to create this uh, this feeling with our supporters uh, to fight uh, for for these three points all together. We have time for two more questions with Coach. First, go to Mark, and then we'll finish up with Joe. Mark, you have the floor. Coach, can you talk about uh, Kyle Duncan's status? We saw him yeah. on the training pitch today. Obviously, Dylan Nealis did really, really well for you guys yeah. last week in Houston. Um, I'm just kind of curious how the players uh, are mixing. Yeah, uh, Dylan Nealis made also a very good job, very serious. Um, it's a little bit not... They play the same position like Kyle Duncan as a, as a right fullback. Kyle Duncan has also played uh, the first game uh, was in Nashville left fullback. Um, but uh, Dylan is, uh, is more specific in, in his defense behavior, and, and in this case, he, he made very well job, uh, very serious and uh, clear also in his defending and also in the build-up situation, offense, so clear situation. So, and this is also what we have to decide uh, if Kyle is able to play on uh, on Saturday. Um, he made yesterday, it was uh, 70%, 60% of the team training session with the team and then this individual program. Today was the first day with the whole team and uh, yeah, we will see tomorrow and then to, to take the decision then for Saturday um, if he's able to play then uh, in the starting lineup or, or is also then the option from the bench. And we'll finish up with Jeff. In the short time you've had with him so far, what have you liked about Dennis Younger's game, and why do you think maybe that'll translate well to mm. MLS? Uh, his speed is, uh, is very well, and uh, this is also uh, what we analyzed and also in a lot of games on video and also live. Uh, amazing speed. And uh, he's, uh, he's, he's maybe not more, not like uh, the player between the lines, so more in one direction, in transition, so good moments. And uh, I would, uh, I would analyze him uh, in, in short sense like this. And uh, yeah, he's also uh, like a team player. He's, uh, he's a hard worker for the team, and, and also in, in his defense behavior. And um, he's able to play uh, more positions. And this is also very, very, very good. Uh, so not only as a winger, I could be also then maybe a fullback. So in these positions, depends on our structure. Um, but uh, these two training sessions, he, he adapts directly. Then also the principles, because he's also uh, the player with, with a top mentality, very open player also. And this is what we need and to use his speed.